Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday afternoon. The Earthmaster in here at 3.05 p.m. California time, August 28, 2024, with a large earthquake update here on a 6.1 earthquake here around the, uh, looks like the Ecuador area. This earthquake just coming in. Uh, actually, it's going to be north of there. Let me go over to the uh, EMSC model here real quick since the USGS has not picked up on it yet. Let's go ahead and check this out here real quick. Okay. Uh, zoom in over here and there it is 6.0 offshore of El Salvador Ecuador way further south here so I'm off a little bit but uh, yeah that's a pretty large earthquake coming in at about 33 kilometers below the surface it was felt there across the area it's a pretty shallow earthquake the extreme southern end here of the middle America trench where we've been watching uh, a lot of earthquake uptick here recently in this specific area you can see that line of uh, earthquake activity of various magnitudes and various depths there below the uh, surface and into the subduction zone so uh, that's a pretty decent sized earthquake uh, also need to watch the area over here across the puerto rico area following that uh, six pointer here today a couple days back we had a five pointer in the same region and um, that triggered uh, some larger scale activity out here into the Puerto Rico area. I think we had a, a four pointer out around the Dominican Republic region. So uh, that tends to be where the stress will accumulate following some uh, motion out here and stress uh, against this area. The Caribbean plate as a whole looks like it's underneath quite a bit of strain here. So 6.0, uh, let's see what else. Uh, USGS not picking up on anything yet. Um, at all takes them a little while this could get revised uh, definitely could get revised here from a six pointer it could be downgraded it could be up upgraded i don't have a lot of seismograph stations here in the area uh, near the um, area of el salvador but um, if it's a six pointer that should show up here on the southern california station there just that's how these seismograph stations work there. They pick up distant waves as well. And speaking of California real quick, noticing an uptick out here again today uh, around the San Jacinto Fault Zone and more recently a little clustering going on across the Ocotillo Wells area uh, where we've seen a swarm of earthquake activity firing up uh, this afternoon with a couple twos and some ones in there. So keep an eye here on Southern California. Uh, aside from that, we've got a swarm over here in Nevada. So an overall strain pattern building out here against the plate boundary nothing yet nothing yet <laughs> it may get revised here um 6.0 let me see here this might be the p wave here it looks like potentially showing up on the petrolia station that's in northern california though uh so it's hard to say uh let me uh, back out of here just for a second and see if I have any local seismograph stations out there that I can tune into. There's not a whole lot unless I uh, um, add them onto the list here, which would take me a minute or so. Uh, but let's check out this station, see if there's anything registering on that seismograph station. And well, look, what? Japan? Why did it pick back up Japan again? That's a little odd. Huh. You guys see that? All right, um, yeah, goodness. 6.0, holding steady there at the EMSC level. <coughs> Refresh this here real quick, see what we got. Yeah, now it looks like they downgraded it to 6.0, 33 kilometers here below the surface. And testimonies coming in here looks like uh some of the testimonies coming in people feeling this earthquake uh lamps moved my chair moved some of the uh, local reports there uh as far as witness testimonies go across that area and um yeah kind of odd in the usgs there we go there we go finally it takes them a little while but i normally like to stick around at least until they uh, get it reviewed before I end this update. But uh, yeah, 6.1, 21 miles here into the Middle America Trench, a major subduction zone here. Uh, and again, watch this area around the Puerto Rico area potentially for some increase. Uh, most of the strain 
in that general pattern here when we see the subduction zone. Notice those two arrows right here in the pink kind of salmon color there, I guess. That's a middle America trench where the earthquake activity is striking. That general pattern should, uh, that general earthquake should add strain here against this little Caribbean plate being squeezed between the North and the South America plate. So we'll keep an eye on that. Either way, uh, pretty large quake, 6.1 and shallow as well. I don't believe there's going to be any type of tsunami statement with it. Uh, there normally isn't with these smaller magnitude quakes. Uh, you know, 6.1, not a small earthquake, but it takes a, something a little bit bigger uh, than the 6-point range to uh, create a tsunami out there. But it has been reviewed by a seismologist. And uh, there's your subduction zone moment um, fault plane solution here. We'll keep an eye on the uh, rest of the uh, areas out here. And, of course, if there's anything major going on, we'll jump back in here with an update. Hope everyone's having a good day. Stay safe out there, folks.